so now how will i give input signal mm. okay so let me draw the input signal here um, i'll use this color so in the case of the bjt we gave the input signal like this yeah right so i think we called it some vi or something correct mm. and this was a very large capacitor yeah we called it cb we can do the same thing here why not mm -hmm. we don't so this vi stands for what is coming from the previous block yeah they were an equivalent almost right we assumed it's an ideal voltage yeah we can assume the same thing here that that's a signal we want to amplify that is a signal you want to amplify we'll do the same thing here okay we will choose a capacitor large enough such that uh, short circuit for uh, uh, ac vi mm -hmm. open circuit for dc okay okay so the bias voltage is not touched is not touched correct by vi by vi so we can i'll just call it some c mm -hmm. before we'll call it cg yeah. for example and in the case of the uh, common emitter amplifier we had to add this here capacitor yeah but uh, you know here we set rs to 0 we don't even need a capacitor we don't correct. need a resistor to bias also correct little bit easier right output also we have taken there output also we have put a taken a we didn't want dc correct you can do the same thing here you can load it through a capacitor hmm. so we were saying uh, that can be used as an inverter also somewhere correct you want to do that for this <laughs> is that possible let's shall we try mm. okay let's do that i like that uh, comparison with the uh, this thing right mm. with the common emitter uh, yeah. amplifier yeah. we actually swept the dc input dc voltage correct and then we saw what happens to the output correct we should do that for this also so what i will do i will draw the equivalent circuit yeah. for this uh, mm. and uh, we are going to sweep the gate voltage from let us say 0 to vdd yeah hmm? cuz anyway sc is at 0 that's why we are writing vg correct sc is at 0 that's why i'm writing vg so maybe i'll just call it vi right yeah so we can directly plot uh, vo versus uh, vi and as usual i think for the bjt case what we did was we started from zero and went all the way to vcc correct, no correct. we'll also assume that we are going to go from zero to vdd hmm? so but i think this may be easier because at least till vt no yeah the no transistor current. is off correct. no current correct if there is no current output is vdd minus id rd no so which is vdd itself which is vdd itself so that part is a little bit easy right yeah till there it is easy yeah i think in the case of the npn there was a small small current was there. correct correct that's right okay so when the output is high mm. it is clean it is clean <laughs> correct easy now if the input goes below uh, beyond above. Uh, high above uh, vt mm. Mm, the transistor can start conducting, right? And uh, the so minute the transistor starts conducting, it will go to triode region or saturation ah. region. <laughs> so my feeling is hmm. the drain uh, gate voltage is small; it's at hmm. VT, and the drain voltage is at VDD. So most probably saturation. Most probably saturation, hmm. right? So most likely here it is off. but my gut feeling is that in this region it will be in saturation because vdd is large vdd is large correct okay and right now vi is still small small compared to vdd so that means we can pick up that equation saturation we can pick equation. up the saturation equation correct and now in this region so current starts flowing hmm. and output is vdd minus id rd so most likely it has to come down no correct it has to come down and uh, at some point 
it yes. will enter into triode. It will right? enter into triode. And that will happen when the gate voltage is high, the drain voltage is small. Yeah. And the drain voltage is small when the current is high yeah. because resistance is fixed. Okay. So, it will do something like this. So, till some point it will be in saturation and after that it will enter a triode. Yeah. Vi has increased, Vo has decreased. Correct. And uh, let us see what will happen if I apply VDD here. Oh, I will get a very large current. The output will be very small. It will never go to zero, I think. It will go somewhere here. So, at that time it will be like a resistor. It will be like a resistor. Correct. It will be deep in the linear region. Yeah. It will look like a resistor. Correct. Hmm. This also looks like an inverter. Yeah, yeah. Right? Correct. When I give input very small, output, output is, is very high. high. High input, output is low. Output is low. So, not a great inverter, but it is uh, ok. <laughs> Correct. Because I would like to get low side also flat. Low like side <laughs> also flat. I agree. I agree. <laughs> So, that is why I said looks like an inverter, it <laughs> is not a very good inverter. Correct, correct. Because we want 0, mm. right, that will be nice. But I think they will probably learn that in a future course. Mm. I think maybe out of scope right here for this course. For this course. This point at which it enter into linear, mm -hmm. we can write equations and get it, no? Because yes, Vgs minus Vt. Correct. We can. And uh, VDD minus IDRD. VDD minus Wherever they match. Wherever they match. That point is. That point. Correct. So, Bobby, hmm. we have done the, uh, looked at the characteristics of the MOSFET. Equations we know. Equations we know. Very complicated. So, it will take some practice for the students to, you know, because. Uh, but actually, once we do that uh, half K. Yes. Then it is okay, it is VGS minus Vt square. VGS minus Vt square, just a quadratic difference. Correct. Correct. So, we should imagine that K they can calculate. Correct. Right. Okay. And uh, then we did uh, uh, compared by bi um, biasing, right. We added a drain resistor to bias the drain. We add a gate resistive divider to bias the gate. Source resistor, we said because it is quadratic, we do not need the resistor. Yes. Right. Maybe I'll quickly draw that circuit. Hmm. We'll start from that. Yeah. This is what we did, right? Yeah. And uh, in fact, we remove the source resistor. Correct. In fact, there is one variant of this also, right. So, but just to give the idea, once you know the gate source voltage, we calculated it. Mm. It is R2 by R1 plus R2 times VDD. Correct. You can find out the current. You can find out everything about the amplifier. Yeah. Right. So, ID was just half K into VGS minus VT, the whole square. The drain voltage is VDD minus IDRD. You can calculate all of that. Now, one variant of this which we saw in the BJT. So, I will just draw that on the side here, which we re we had RE, no? Yeah. So, and uh, we replace that with a current source. Oh, yes. All right. We can do the same thing here actually. We do not need a resistance, mm -hmm. but we can fix the current using an ideal current source. Okay. Right. So, this could be some I naught. Mm -hmm. You want ID equal to I naught, you will fix the current. Okay, okay. So, then the voltage across the current source will be this gate voltage R2 by R1 plus R2 times VDD mm -hmm. minus VGS. Okay. Right. So, and you can calculate VGS from this equation. equation. I naught equal to mm, half understood. K into VGS minus VT the whole square. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So, this source voltage Vs will just be, uh, maybe we will just call that Vg, no? Yeah. This is Vg. 
will just be you will calculate it like this hmm? got it <coughs> vgs from the same vgs from the same equation current. and uh, vgs for the np and bjt mm -hmm. Emitter current was some saturation current exponential Vb by Vt. Correct. We also express it in the reverse, no? Vtln. Vtln uh, Ie by Is. Yes. We can do the same thing here. We can express Vgs in terms of Id. Okay. Right. In that case, it will be uh, Vt plus root of 2 Id by K. Mm -hmm. This is the general expression. Okay. In this case, it will be root of 2 i naught by k because id is i naught. You have a current source. Current. So you know VGS from this equation. You know threshold voltage. You know k. You know i naught. You can find out VGS. Yes. VG is nothing but R2 by R1 plus R2 times. That's not. That's all. You know again for this uh, simply you can find out everything. All voltages, all currents. Right. So, you can do build the same circuit that you built for the BJT here also. And the purpose of this biasing is same as that of the earlier. Same as that of the earlier. BGS, Correct. BJT. Yeah. Correct. Okay. So, you want to fix the bias current. Correct. Right.